Hey, it's Skip, and today I'm going to teach you how to play a little card game called Nomi Rummy. This is a lightning quick, two suited rummy game for two players. Fans of Jen are probably going to feel right at home for this. Let's check it out. All you need to play Nomi Rummy is a standard 52 card deck and a way to keep score. Now, with this game, you are going to be making wagers, and you could even be playing for cold hard cash. So I suggest using poker chips. Make sure each player begins the game with the same number of chips based on the buy-in. To set up for the game, first, give each player their chips, determine a dealer. Prior to dealing out the cards, the dealer will determine the ante. The ante can be whatever the dealer wants to put as a stake for the round. So here the dealer, who's at the bottom of the screen, put in a single chip. Their opponent must also meet that chip in order to play. The dealer shuffles and deals out 10 cards to each player. The rest of the deck is placed face down to form the stop. Before the round begins, each player has the opportunity to buy a new hand if they wish. So our non-dealer gets to go first with that. They look at their hand, and if they wanted all new cards, they would pay another chip into the pot, and they would turn all of those cards in. The deck would be shuffled, and 10 new cards would be dealt to that player. Regardless of whether or not they choose to do so, the dealer also gets an opportunity to buy a new hand. Once each player has had the opportunity to buy, it's time to begin the round, and the non-dealer gets to go first. In order to play, you need to understand how the melds work in Nomi Rummy, so let's go ahead and take a quick look. Okay, the first thing you need to know about making melds is that there are only two suits in this game, red and black. We are completely ignoring the suit symbols and only paying attention to the color. There are two types of melds in this game. The first is called a set, and that is three or more cards of the same rank. The other is called a run, and that is three or more cards in sequential order. Again, the suit symbol does not matter. It is only based on color. Notice that the aces in this game can be high, as in queen, king, ace, or low, as in ace, two, three. And let's begin. The non-dealer goes first. You begin your turn by drawing a card from the stock. That card is added to their hand. After the player has drawn, they may play any melds they wish to the table. It is important to keep in mind that melds played to the table are community melds, meaning that either player can add to them. And in this particular form of Rami, the timing of a meld drop is everything, especially if you're playing a run, and especially if that run is in the middle of the ranking. So a four, five, six, that can be built on in either direction. And yeah, you're giving yourself the opportunity to build onto it later, but you're also giving your opponent that same opportunity. So we have the player at the top of the screen. Go ahead and put some melds out on the table. After a player has drawn and then melded, they end their turn by discarding a single card. So our player is going to go ahead and discard the Ace of Diamonds. Their turn ends and play passes to the opposite player. Now the other player takes their turn. They may begin their turn by drawing from the top of the stock or the top of the discard pile. They're going to go ahead and take that ace. They went ahead after drawing the ace. They played a meld of sevens to the table. Notice that they have a few options with that ace. They could play the ace two three as a meld, but they also have a potential set of twos. They could also eventually get the Queen of Diamonds, making a run of Queen, King, Ace. Now they end their turn by discarding a card. And play passes to the opposite player. And play like that continues until a player has either melded all of their cards to the table or discarded their final card. The player to empty their hand first wins the round. The player who wins the round collects the chips and adds them to their pile. If you are keeping score rather than playing with chips, each card is worth one point, and a player earns points equal to the number of cards they melded to the table. So our player at the top of the screen melded 10 cards to the table, so they would have earned 10 points for the round. If they could have melded that 11th card, that card they drew, they would have earned 11 points. The opposite player only melded seven of their cards to the table, so they earn seven points for the round. And you can continue playing rounds until an agreed upon score is reached. I like the chip method best because it's a little more tactile and you have that opportunity to play for 
pocket change if you wish. After the score has been tallied, whoever won the round becomes the dealer. They ante in, deal the cards, and you continue playing until one player runs out of chips or you played an agreed upon number of rounds. If you're keeping points, play to an agreed upon number of points. Well, that's how to play Nomi Rami. Yes, this is a very quick game. Narrowing it down to two suits based on color just speeds things up tremendously. And it doesn't necessarily make it any easier because yes, you can make melds a lot quicker, but you don't want to be playing melds too soon because as soon as you get them down on the table, you're setting your opponent up to be able to play on them. And you might actually give them the upper hand by doing so. So there's a little bit of chicken, a little bit of push and pull on who's going to play their melts first. You don't want to wait too long because you might your opponent might be able to go gin in a sense. They might be able to play everything down at once. And you also don't want to get caught with only one card in your hand. You can get in that situation where you're literally just drawing and discarding, drawing and discarding, waiting to be able to draw a card that you can meld or lay off just so you can discard. And that's not a good position to be in either. I like how the, the melds get played to the table, unlike in Gin where they're held in your hand. That kind of mixes in a little bit of Rummy 500. And again, I think that helps speed that game up. And there is a nice buildup of tension while melds are getting played there is that possibility that you're going to be able to lay off so if you are able to pay attention to what has been taken off this card pile or what your opponent has been discarding you will know what they have in their hand and what they need and you can hang on to that and wait for them to give in first and discard what you need and all of that just makes for a very quick intense game well that's all i have for you today if you would like to support the channel the best thing you can do is hit subscribe hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below all of those things don't seem like much, but they really do help the channel out a lot. And in turn, that helps me out a lot because I really love doing this. And I want to see this channel continue to grow and grow. Well, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep on playing.